get called to order the meeting of the Board of Commissioners for your Thursday, November 2nd, 2023. Please join me for the pledge. 905. Pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, and liberty and justice for all. <clears throat> Thank you. And um, at this time, I have a request to go right into a non-public. Make a motion that we go into non-public under our New Hampshire RSA 91-A colon 3, 2A through L. I second that motion. All those in favor, roll call vote. Uh, yes, yeah, Commissioner McGee. Aye. Nelson, yes. Uh, Clegg McCarthy. Yes. Nine three. Okay. That's the problem. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'll make a motion that we come out of the non-public and seal the notes. Second that motion. All those in favor say aye. 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 936. Okay. Do you like, oh, I guess we have to go into public comment first. Yeah. Public comment? Yes, Fred Kane from Wolfboro. Uh, last week when I brought up the fact of the Director of Quality and the former ADUN, uh, the Chair asked if anyone would like to have a comment, and Commissioner McGee quoted, best of my knowledge, it's not ex exactly the same job. Uh, I do have the post here for the job, and the former ADUN has initialed every single one of those jobs were under her title. Ask any staff member at Mountain View, including residents, they will verify that the ADON did all the job responsibilities listed on the Director of Quality job detail and more. The fact that the HR Director stated this is not the same role as the ADON makes it clear she had no idea what the former ADON did at Mountain View. Instead of walking her out of the building, which was functioning quite well at the time, maybe she should have researched the value of an ADON role. Mountain View would not have just been through such a tough year. This all goes back to those making the decision to eliminate the ADON had no clue what she did. In fact, the DON who knows exactly what the ADON did, was never consulted, and was as shocked as everyone else when she came to work and was told the ADON position was gone without an ounce of notice. HR can say what she wants, but do yourself a favor, the true facts by talking with the DON. Current and former staff members and administrator will attest that the new director of quality is the same job as the ADON position. You can put lipstick on a pig, but it's still a pig. I will leave a list of this job with the initials for the minutes with uh, Melissa, and also uh, director of maintenance Bob Murray. When he was hired here, he was hired under head of maintenance and now it's the Director of Maintenance. It's the same job. So you can change the name, but it's the same thing. Thank you very much. Any Madam media questions? Madam Chair, for public comment. Yes. Last week, the Ed Cavell Brookfield, governmentoversight.com. Last week, the uh, CFO announced or reported that you had $2.6 million of unclaimed property and I would just like a list of that. You said unclaimed property, not 2.6. I said un 
expected revenue of which 600,000 was unclaimed property. 600,000, thank you for being accurate. <laughs> Can I have a list of those um, sure. items? Of course. Thank you very much. Yeah. I'd like to speak, if I may. Okay. Yeah, I'm Kevin Poole. I live right up the road here. Uh, I'd first uh, like to give uh, Madam Chairman a, a commendation. Several people have said how you handled Will was very diplomatic. and But there's still numerous bales of hay cluttering up the driveway. I've had a couple of friends call and ask to buy hay. There's no hay available. and. Um, I'm just curious about, you know, there's all this equipment, all of and, and there's no hay. Now, hay is like an income revenue generating situation. There were some really good days last week, like it takes three days to make hay. There should have been hay being made for like a second cut. Because, you know, hay is hay and it's money. But thank you, you did very well. Several people have actually commented and messaged me and said that you handled Will DeWitt quite, quite diplomatically and very well. So uh, kudos and accolades to you. Thank you. I guess I was curious, when I, I missed it, what happened with Will and, and Hay? He, um, he went over his, the way he sells Hay and his, you know, I don't know whatever you want to call it, but his procedure. His procedure. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, and I'm sure um, it should be in the minutes for last week. I don't know. If you want to get a copy, we can give it to you. I know, I'm still trying to locate the sheriff to talk to him about the sheriff oh. of the year. So I haven't forgotten about that, Terry. Okay. Okay. Um, that's it. Approval of the minutes for October 26th. Make the motion to be approved the minutes of October 26th as written. I second that. All those in favor say aye. 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 Um, and so that the CFO doesn't need to sit here for much longer, would you care to make that? Yes, motion? we've uh, finalized the budget, and the new budget for 2024 will be $39,800,840.29. I make a motion that we approve that. I second my motion. All those in favor say aye. 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 I want a roll call. I don't think we have to do a roll call. No. No, you're all here. We're all here, so. Okay. We're all good. Madam and Chair, hopefully, point, Madam Chair, point of information. Yes. Does this mean that was the official vote and now that budget will now Be go public. to the delegation? Is that the yes. exact moment? Thank you. So, and hopefully it will be mailed out between the 15th and the 20th. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. okay. <coughs> so the manifest approval for accounts payable for November 1st is $370,425.43. For payroll for November 3rd, $301,802.47. Motion to approve. I second the motion. All those in favor say aye. 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 So we will now oh, recess and go into the Hales Board of Selectmen meeting. 943. Thank you. So for Hales, what do I have? I have a financial report for the Department of Education for SAU 97 School District um, that has to be signed by the school board chair, who would be uh, Mr. Nelson. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and um, the superintendent, which is myself, and the school board, which is all, all three of us. So I will pass this to let you take a look at that. Yeah, there would be much more. Oh, thank you. It's a lot of reading. It is. 
Do you want me to sign this thing? Yes, sir. Yep. Move over to the Yep. Second or the third? third? Second. Second. <coughs> and I have no further business for Hales after that. Okay. So school board. Yep, you have to sign here too. School board. times with the Department of Education well, talking about the MS-25 and I'm sure you're more familiar with all that stuff. Uh, huh. I know. Can I just look at that later? You sure can. I signed it. Well, I might as well ask SAU-97. What is it? Where's that? <laughs> it isn't, because we don't have That's right, we did, so yeah. they send it. Yeah. But why did they give it a number? That was my thought. Okay. Yeah, I knew they didn't. Yeah, if we don't have a school, if we send them to... Uh, Freiburg or Freiburg. Yeah. But we have, to, we have to act. I mean, we have to do all the papers. Right. And this, now, it's going to be different from the delegation because we have to separate. We have to have two budgets, a school budget and a town budget, and two separate checking accounts. Did you get to do And we have minutes for Hales. Yeah, we did that. Yeah, we did that last. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay. We need a motion to approve the minutes. Motion to approve the minutes. For Hale's location, as written. For Hale's, yes. I second that. Okay. All those in favor, say aye. 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 What was the date again? Uh, it's for October. 25th. Is that what it is? Yeah. I can't read it. Okay. 25th? 26th. Yep. 26th. <clears throat> well, so are these are signed, one to sign, to sign one of these? I yep. can get you another copy if you like one for your That's okay. records. Thank you. So. <clears throat> and for their septic problems that they've been having, they're still waiting on the approval of the septic from the state. So I have nothing more on that. Are you here for the checkmate contract? Yeah. Okay. Come on up. Yeah. Your perfect timing. Can I see the school board? I have more time for the superintendent. <clears throat> yeah. I've got to put that in my resume. Yes, you do. That's <laughs> real. <laughs> Madam Chair, did you leave the house location? No, not yet. Not yet. You work on it. I'll take a motion. We don't have to visit this recess. Here's the chair. You can do whatever you yeah. want. I can. can I go home? Good <laughs> <laughs> morning, Commissioners. Good morning. Hold on. You just have to come out of We're coming out of the Board of Selectmen meeting for Hale's location. 9, going, 9 going, 49. Okay. Going back <clears throat> to our regular meeting. Okay. And good morning. 
How are you? Good. Good. How are you doing? Okay, so what do you have for us? Checkmate. Okay, so I have the checkmate contract. Um, we were looking for a final. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. How much is that? So, year to date, we have spent $70,100.21. Okay. Um, Can you give me that number again? $70,121. Okay. Uh, and what those costs, they're, they're we're charged for two different things. Uh, one is each payroll, of course, right. there is a price per head. Um, and then we are charged for what, what are called supplemental payrolls. And what that is, is there are certain laws with regard to how quickly we must pay an employee after they've left us. Um, and one of those laws includes paying somebody within 72 hours of them leaving us if certain parameters are met. We're charged $40 when we have a payroll outside of that. Um, so it's, like I said, it's, it's a combination of, of charges. And they were going up, so we were, didn't we want a final tally on what would be kind of for <clears throat> next year on that project? Well, so it, it fluctuates because of the terminations, but I think we will stay fairly close to seventy-five or eighty thousand uh, dollars. Yeah. So is it a new contract or a continuing? Contract? So it is a new con. We have we have an annual contract with them. We do one-year contracts. Yeah. Um, so this will be effective January the first of twenty twenty-four. Is that hours? That set, set, the set number of hours is that law somewhere that we have to pay? Them? Yes, correct. Yeah, I'm sorry, I can't quote chapter and verse, but there, there is. So, a, do they give us an actual number, or, 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 or no? There's so we have. So in here, it lists a um, payroll processing and tax filing is eleven dollars and eighty cents per employee per month. So it is our number is based on our population. What you said, 11 what? 1180 per employee per month. Okay. Then we do some reporting to New Hampshire Retirement System. Mm -hmm. um, that's $1.20 per employee per month. And then there is some CMS reporting. This is for our nursing home folks. It's, uh, it's called payroll-based journal reporting. Also mandated um, by law, something we have to do. That's done quarterly, uh, and it's a dollar twenty per employee per month. So we're paying like almost fifteen dollars per employee per month. Right. Okay. Motion to approve based on. These figures. These figures. <coughs> I'll second Which that motion. Public. Pardon? Which are public. Yeah. Which are public. Yeah. Second. Second. All those in favor, say aye. Aye. Um, may I ask, have we ever, have we looked into any other payroll companies? Um, not since I've been here, um, and I'm certainly happy to do so. If you feel that it's time to at least start. Well, no, I'm just, I'm just what, comparing <clears throat> what there is out yeah. there. And I don't think that there's any harm in that, so I'd be happy to take that on. Okay. See what is there other are. towns, what towns would use the same payroll service? Do you know? I do know Checkmate has other counties. I don't know which ones, but I'll reach out. There's okay. an affiliate group, and I'd be happy yeah. to reach out. And then there's it's just nothing you other. Have to do immediately. Because no, no, because we have a contract next year, but yeah. we'll blink and then it'll be time again. So, <laughs> happy nice. to do so. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. So, is Sean going to be coming and Will coming to pay? Um, as far as Will goes, on the access road, he's still waiting. Excuse me for an updated quote from the contractor. Okay, so we called him this morning. He's all set. Um, I will give Sean a call to see if yeah. he's. Going. <coughs> I know he still had that prime care contract yep. on and for we you. Go ahead and have Bob. Yeah. Would you like to come up? No, we have a second on Sean.
Uh, j just for clarification, um, for Fred and anyone's uh, who's listening's benefit, when I was first hired here, I was hired as the supervisor of maintenance for Mountain View Community Solarly. Uh, in or around 2017, I was promoted uh, to the director of maintenance for all the county buildings. So that's what the change in title, my change in title came from. <clears throat> and they expanded your responsibilities. And they expanded the responsibilities. Yeah, I just wanted to clarify that. Um, it's, it's essentially the same job, just on a much larger scale than specifically the nursing home. Um, okay, thank you. Uh, what I'd like to discuss today is the uh, medical director contract uh, for the nursing home. We have a professional services agreement with Huggins Hospital that's going to expire uh, December 31st, okay. which includes um, the medical director services. Uh, the professional services agreement was signed, approved and signed uh, by D uh, under authority of the commissioners, um, but the specific medical director agreement was never signed. Yes. <clears throat> it was approved, but it was never signed. Uh, since that happened, uh, when D signed the professional services agreement, uh, we've been over, uh, between Lynn and myself, we've been over this agreement, and uh, there, there were a couple of minor changes in wording that needed to be done. Okay. Uh, corrections. There was a reference to another facility um, than, than Mountain View that, that was changed. Um, that's, that's essentially it. So the commissioners have approved the medical director agreement, but because there was a change in the title and uh, we want to get this thing clarified, I just want to make sure that it's okay that, if, that we proceed and execute this contract. Uh, and somebody sign it, either the commissioners, myself, uh, of course if I sign it, I'll need permission from the commissioners. This is an agreement that we have in place and we've been working under. This agreement is expected to be terminated as soon as we sign it by Huggins. Uh, we're going to, yes. As soon as we sign it, I expect it to be terminated because Huggins doesn't want to deal, uh, do what they've been doing for us anymore. It has nothing to do with us. It's just uh, the professional services that they agreed to do. They're only, only agreed to do it until the end of the year, and then we are on our own. We have to find a new company to do our um, medical director billing. Uh, manage our medical director and that's going to be one of the first tasks that our new administrator is going to be taking off to do. We have to get something in agreement by the end of the year uh, in order to carry our medical director over after the first of the year. So if they're going to cancel this as soon as we sign it, why do we need to even... Because we have a professional services agreement that has been signed okay. that includes reference to the do medical this? director contract. Okay. Yeah, there's two separate documents, but one references the other. Okay. Great. Lynn would like to speak, okay. I think. Lynn, go ahead. Hi, good morning. Good morning. So um, this um, contract that Bob and I reviewed um, and requested a few revisions to be made, um, <clears throat> it's, um, the contract is necessary for us to have, according to our RSAs, um, and operating the nursing home, and um, it protects both us and Huggins um, but as far as um, the duties that we are um, expected to perform. So, um, the, while it was my understanding we have it in minutes that the commission has approved, um, it was not, um, no one was authorized to sign on your behalf, so we're presenting it today um, for you to sign. And we are um, currently looking at other options should Huggins um, wish to terminate and provide a 30-day termination notice, um, or if the county should wish to, there is a 30-day um, clause in there um, for both parties. And otherwise, it's an automatic renewal um, each year. Okay. So we are looking at other options currently. We'll make a motion to accept the new the medical director consulting agreement as written. Okay. And Does the correction show up on this? 
Yeah, to the corrections are already been made in this. The case. corrections aren't, uh, they don't show up as corrections, but they have been made. Okay. There's only one reference uh, to the administrator on, okay. uh, let's see, let me find the page. Um, and it still has Dee's name on That's there. That's what I want to, that's what I want to, I want to cross out her name and write, if you give me authorization to sign it, I'll, yep. I'll, I'll write and initial my own name. Okay. That's the only other thing, but I didn't think that was important enough to send back. <clears throat> okay. So everything else has been corrected. Okay. And so we'll make that change and authorize Bob to sign the okay. agreement. I second that. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Okay. All right. All right. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. And you hear that our new um, administrator will be here next Monday? He'll be here on Monday. Monday. Ooh, yes. Funny. Yeah. We're looking forward to spending some time with him. Bring but him. we won't get to meet him. We have no meeting next week. No. Well, he'll have a whole week before he has to see us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe that's good. Lucky guy. <laughs> Okay. Uh, and again, with, with Lynn's help, um, we've been carrying the nursing home, and everything everything is good. Good. We appreciate the uh, hard work. Well, all right. yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, um, to, today's census is uh, 100 full beds, three empty beds. Uh, we've got 23 Med B residents, two managed Med B residents. Currently, no skilled. Uh, we have 14 uh, LN, uh, <clears throat> agency LNAs and six nurse LNAs currently. And we normally keep at least two beds empty for hospice. Well, that, 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 that's that's up and that's back and forth. I think the uh, the goal should be to uh, to fill the fill beds. Them yeah, absolutely. Okay, you think? Oh, but my shed. opinion won't matter in another week or two. Well, that's not necessarily true. <laughs> the shed. Yeah. Um, the shed, and 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 shame on me. I was going to stop and see what the other ones were, and I will do that today, because I. Okay. All right. I didn't uh, know if you did or not. Because no, I, I haven't. Because I said I would and I didn't. I haven't. So. It's, it's, it's on my list of things to do, but as far as priorities, it's, yeah, not, it's not at not the top right of the so. list. Good. All right. Well, I'll make sure I get that done. All right. Anything yeah. else for us? Uh, nothing else. Okay. Thank All you. right. Thank you very much. And I see Sean. Come on up. Good morning. Were you able at all to try to get Derek to come down just a little? No. Um, <laughs> I knew that was going to be no. Be <laughs> but I was yeah. going to ask. Uh, okay. No. Um, yeah. I, mean, I understand. This this I includes know. PA, doctor, um, a psych, uh, four or five nurses, um, you know, 16 hours of care. Yep, I know. And all medical costs on top of that. So we, we added added a little bit. We had increased our catastrophic from sixty to seventy thousand, so there's an increase there. Um, because of seeing the trend of things and then also the population we added, which causes a small increase there. But the overall increase is it's cost of staff, it's everywhere. Oh, um, yeah, we're well aware of that. Just for the sake of the public that's yeah. watching. Yeah. It, it, I'm sure you've explored other options if there are if there are is if there is such a thing. Yeah, um, I mean the only other thing we could try to possibly do is go up to bid again. However, Hillsborough County just did the same thing, and the only one that went in on it was Prime Care, um, and you know, they just went effect with them on October first. They just went live with them. So uh, there's really no other options out there. I mean, unless we decide to take it back on our own liability, our own responsibility, and try to hire. Outside care and doctors and stuff. Well, it, 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 too, it, yeah. it, it would exactly. cost us a lot more. Without <laughs> getting too far in the weeds, that's yeah. not really a good option. Yeah. So. yeah. I, I, do we need a motion? Yeah. Second that motion. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Sorry, I was answering a question. Are they, um, so they're going to provide us with a contract and then the commission yeah. will? Yeah. You'll bring that back to the commissioners for signature. Yep. Okay. Thank Again, you. we have we have some time on that because it, the, the current contract will be until May. But I'll okay. I will reach out to Derek yep. by end of day today yep. and say, hey, okay. we'll move forward with this. And Get us where we're well, we're agreeable. All right. <laughs> and I'll and I'll take one more final stab at going. Hey, can 
Yeah. 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 Shop that pencil a tad more again. Tad more, we do. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'll, 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 I'll buy you a drink. Something tells me that's not going to happen. <laughs> I know. It never hurts to ask. Yeah. Oh, yeah, everybody's, yeah. everybody's struggling, and I get it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, end of the day, I get it. Anything else? How's everything going over there? Everything's going well. Um, instead, we're still down three, um, but um, you know we're status quo with what we have, which is which is good. Um, so we're moving. We're definitely progressing forward. Uh, so, but yeah. Great. Thanks. Thank you, Sean. Thank you. Oh, the bike people? I see. When are they going to start? Do you know? What was it like next? Next week? My next, start, our next week or two, yeah. yeah. We have a couple of yeah. individuals already on board. Oh, good. Um, I, hope so, it, I hope it pans out. I hope it turns yeah. into a good thing. A couple of the bikes that were already provided to us that were, you know, we weren't part of the repair then, but uh, for inmates that were getting out and didn't have rides, uh, that's working out. We've actually, they signed a waiver and whatnot, a release, and they, they, and they ride off with it. Um, so hopefully get, provide them some type of transportation so they're not out, you know, try, trying to hitchhike or whatever, you know, uh, causing problems that way. Okay. Great. Well, keep, keep us updated. Will do. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. <coughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, we already didn't mention. Line item transfers. Line item, we have no line item transfers, Melissa? I don't see it. No, none this week. We need okay. the budget. Not the budget. Do we have anything else for non-public? Um, I have a couple of quick things for public, if it's okay. Yeah. We, um, I have the memorandum of understanding between the commissioners and the Boy Scouts. For oh, okay. The blueberries. We're waiting for that. Okay. Yep. So I have a signed one. The Scouts met, and um, initially they said they wanted a one year. Yep. Um, um, Mr. Boyd believes that he has the support to have a three-year agreement. I spoke to Will about that, and he was fine with that so long as every at the end of every season the scouts agreed to have a wrap-up and a review meeting with him. So the scouts have agreed to that, so Will is okay with a three-year. No, I just have that confirmed in an email okay. um, that I can attach to the MOU. Okay. Um, you just need one of these signed. Um, and then, um, yes, if you could sign one of those, vote and sign it, that would be great. And we need a, a vote, too. We need a motion. Yeah. Uh, I'll make a motion to accept the uh, memorandum of, of understanding with the Boy Scouts with regard to the blueberry field, as written. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll second that. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Find these somewhere. Um, yep, he's passing one down. Here, here's the oh, extra one. one. Okay. And the updated budget timeline. And send yes. out the yes. updated timeline to your email. I'm not sure if you got it. And send it out yes. kind of late yesterday. <coughs> right. Yeah, but. Um, so, based on the conversation last week, the CFO being a, away for a couple of weeks, and also um, one of the the vice chair of the delegation being away a week in December. The new day is uh, December 14th for the delegation public hearing, which is a Thursday. Mm -hmm. um, so you could meet in the morning, perhaps, and then yep. they could meet in the afternoon. Um, take advantage of everyone already being here. Okay. With a snow date on the 15th of okay. December. Um, and then all the other dates on here are driven by, you know, the RSA and when things have to be posted and advertised. And uh, the only question I have is, um, and I, I emailed the question to you. I just wanted some clarification. So we could either have the uh, Siemens project, the annex, on your meeting the morning of the 14th, and then take it to the delegation that afternoon. Which, mm. see, to me, that seems like a lot for the delegation to absorb in one day. Yep. The delegation can't meet at another time for that. So he's, uh, the chairman of the delegation is still pretty adamant. They just want to have one meeting in December um, for, based on their budget, what they have allowable for meeting expenses, but also um, with the holidays, people being away. It's just, it, well, then we'll just have to do it on the 15th, and they'll take as long as it takes, and they'll have to... 
He did say we could, they could do it at their first meeting in January, which I'm looking at the second week of January, so it's really a three-week difference. I'm not sure that in the grand scheme of things it will really make that much of a difference. Um, it would give Siemens a little more time to work in their contractors to get all the pricing and yes, check and get their documents nice lined up. I would think, and yeah, they said that, yeah. <coughs> any contracts would need a uh, legal review, so it would actually might buy us a little extra breathing room. So. And when would it be? January what? Um, what did you say? Go back to the calendar. That's right. Uh, oh, January 12th. Okay. I had it. Oh, I got it down here. <coughs> okay. so, I think that's fine. So I just want to make sure that you're all yep. in agreement with this and put, getting things in motion and get, making it happen. Okay. Yep. Um, I, ch I got something just now from Ava at Siemens, a little update. Um, this week they have, and next week, they have subcontractors walking through the building. Right. I got that, yep. They've been asked to send their first round of budgetary numbers to Siemens by the 13th of November. Okay. After receiving the numbers, they'll be working internally to pull the draft project together to review with the commissioners on November 28th. Okay. After reviewing and the project's been picked, then the subs go back and double check, make sure is everything. And then December 14th is... Um, reviewing with the commissioners again, so I have, yep. nothing's really changed, I don't think, so we're just going to get our preliminary numbers a little bit later than originally anticipated. Mm -hmm. I kind of expected no, November 28th is a Tuesday. Yes, so um, they are asking for the commissioners if you could meet with them at 10 o'clock on the 28th of November. Okay. Question. Yes, here. I prefer to do. I prefer to do the 29th if possible. Okay. <coughs> the numbers they are providing us. Will that change anywhere? Then that's a locked-in number. And then will it come before we present the information to the county to the delegation? Yes. Yeah. Everything be in time to. Yeah. Yeah. Make that all work. Okay. Yeah. And the commissioners. I mean, the commissioners are driving. It's your project. Yeah. True. So what, what gets left in, what gets left out, how it gets presented to the delegation is really going to be your decision. Okay. Yeah. We can ask them if you ask them. I, I, mean, I made it, a note. Yeah. I mean, we're going to have a meeting on the 30th. It, I mean, if you I mean, want to push it to the 30th. Why would we push it to the 30th and just do it the same day? I don't know. We can ask them. I mean, yeah. they have a lot of contracts with people that have to. Yeah. <clears throat> Maybe you See know, if you can ask them a month's them. notice is enough time to, yeah. to rearrange. Yeah. Do you do the other two know of any conflicts you have that last week of November without your calendar in front of you? <laughs> if you find something, just let me know. I won't call them immediately. <clears throat> I'll let you let you um, figure out your schedule too. The week before that is Thanksgiving, obviously. Oh, look at that color coded. Okay. <laughs> That's what I need. All right. It's, I so on the third, well, or whatever day we do it, mm -hmm. what are they going to give us? The figures. The final, the, the, their final estimates. The oh. budgetary, you know, what, what they've come up with, <clears throat> and then it's going to be, you know, what the call of the commissioners to go back and... Okay. Could you repeat the dates we're working with so I can sure. <clears throat> on my magic calendar here? You, have, yeah. you can have this. Yeah. That's all right. You can have that change things for... So we're looking at um, Siemens sending the, let's see, after they receive the budgetary numbers, they'll be working to pull a draft project together to review with the commissioners on 11-28. They expect to have their initial budgetary numbers from the subcontractors on the 13th. So, so what date are we moving then? we got two moving dates. You would like, if we're talking about the 29th of November? 28th or the 30th. I mean, the okay. 30th is our normal meeting, and it would make more sense to do it the 30th if we, if okay. we can, <coughs> rather than come over two days in a row. Okay. Okay. All right, well, let's keep, let's keep things moving. Yes, Thank you. you. Okay. Okay. That's all I have to do. Okay. okay. Any um, commissioners' comments or reports? No. no. Nothing? Fine. Okay. We've already got the uh, accounts payable. We've already, everything's been signed and motioned to accept. So 
right? Everything being on the accounts payable? Yes. All done? We already did that. So I don't think we have anything else. <clears throat> it doesn't appear so. No. Nope. Anything? I mean, I think okay. Oh, except a motion. Well, I may ask the superintendent of schools yeah. a question yeah. as the chairman of the school board. <coughs> what budget do we have for no. our salaries? You get um, five thousand. No, oh, for school board nothing, but for anything else you get two thousand. Okay. I just want to know as chairman too when I put this on a resume. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll wait a motion to. Uh, motion to adjourn. I'm at second that motion. All those in favor say aye. Aye. 10 14. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> That's a 10 15. Wow. Could be a new record. Are you signing anything or you're all done? We're all done. done. We are there's, done. What, there's like 190 people in Hart's location. How many are kids? Is it 1% on all of them? <clears throat> and how are, oh, Hales? I mean, Hales, Hales, okay. Yeah, there's. I always say that too. Uh, I always say high school kids. I know what's yeah. the difference. It's, 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 it's up and off there. Yeah, there's like um, two high school age. That's it? Yeah. Um, I know. And it's a lot of work for two kids.